The Omar Baking Building opened in 1923. Here's a picture from 1966. Though it's been restored, it's still recognizable. On the outside, we'll show you a few pictures of the inside shortly, but you also have an opportunity to see it firsthand this week. Mark Schlange and Ray Trimble join us today with a preview of this open house. Mark, Ray, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Thank remind you. us about this building, and I think the people who grew up in that area might remember the aroma in particular. What was special about the Omar building? Well, um, Ray would probably have a better uh, idea on that. Take it away, Ray. She's a developer. Yeah, go for it. It was before my time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we acquired the building when it was something different. I wouldn't insist that you yeah. were around in 1923, <laughs> but that's so, part of the lore of this building, right? Those memories, the history uh, we, of it. We hear that from mm -hmm. time to time from people that stop by and say, I used to come in and I used to steal donuts mm -hmm. or whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and we have some someone coming by that was in there 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. What was worth restoring? I mean, in some cases, people just sort of, you know, bring in a dozer, it makes sense to build fresh, but why was it important to preserve this building? Well, it started out as, a, as kind of a mission. I was on a board of directors uh, for Together, Inc., mm -hmm. and they were looking for a new facility, and, and, and that was the impetus behind the search. And uh, so one of the guys in my office in Property Bank, they they said, We've, we found a building, and uh, I looked at it, and uh, that's history. Yeah, you know? the rest is so. history. So now, we know it before it was made, you know, it baked. It was one of four facilities in the country for Omar. Mm -hmm. um, a lot different now, what's happening inside. And we'll show you some pictures. It's just a beautiful space now. How will the building be used? Well, we have... Currently, we have 18 tenants, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, it's kind of a multi-purpose. Uh, it's really our concept and our vision was to create a community mm -hmm. within a community within a building. So people are living here. Well, no, or it's they're just not, working. There. Not residential. It's all commercial. But there's still a pool. Is there a pool? Did I no, see a picture of the no, no pool? I was going to say okay. I thought I saw no a pool. pool. I don't, Keep going, Not right. that I know about. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, uh, so basically, the, the the building is kind of divided into three fundamental parts. And on the main level, uh, the event center is social. Mm -hmm. The middle part is is uh, physical fitness and wellness. And mm -hmm. then the east part is uh, the creative arts wing. Wow, it's so, just gorgeous. And we all kind of blend together, and everybody gets along, and it's a. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it feels good going to work every morning. Mm -hmm. And I read you held on to some of the original elements of the building, though it's a lot new. What did you keep? Well, the original architecture and character of the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else kind of went, we, you know, we stripped everything down to the, <clears throat> to the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. But all the steel and all the brick, and we report all the floors. Of course, it's a new roof. Yeah, you know, right. A lot of money. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Mark, for you, this open house, why do you want our viewers... To come, what's the goal? Well, we're uh, we're a tenant at uh, Omar Baking, and uh, we love it there. It's a great facility. Um, I think we want people to understand, you know, what what is in Midtown. Mm -hmm. We love being in Midtown. Midtown has a lot of character, and we want people to experience the Omar, but then also learn a little bit about our company because mm -hmm. we're in partnership uh, with this open house and. Um, um, we just wanted it as a great networking event. Mm -hmm. The restoration was completed a couple of years ago. We started in 08, mm -hmm. so it's been a long five years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I get a sense you could use a nap, and our farm animals are seconding that motion. This is uh, fun. Being here is fun, I'll tell you. Well, and, and they walked in, they said, how do you expect us to follow these animals? And I said, oh, you'll be fine. Let's give it a shot. Uh, pretty active great. scene still in it's the studio. Great. But let's show you some information about this open house. It is on <laughs> Thursday from 4 until 7 o'clock. Um, you will need to RSVP, so shoot Eric at MarketplaceNebraska.com a message. Let them know you're interested. A couple of websites. We have MarketplaceNebraska.com. If you'd like to learn more about the building, the history behind it, see some more pictures, it's OmarBuilding.com. So is this mostly a networking event for people in Midtown? Is this open to professionals across the board? Is this for people who want space in the building? And is there even any left, Ray? We have one space that has not been occupied, mm -hmm. and it's the best space in the building, mm -hmm. in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. and a couple of others. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have uh, a fairly diverse group, uh, like uh, young professionals, uh, uh, people that have been in industry, mostly business owners. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a networking, it's a social event that's going to be fun. We'll have uh, m a music on two levels and uh, wow. be catered. And, uh, yeah, wine, yeah. hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, exactly. it should be a nice event. And beer. 
<laughs> and beer. Thank you, Ray. It's nice <laughs> to have you here. And Mark, it's nice to see you too.